Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Be a Kid in Clarkston, where we feature topics relevant to child development, adult development, and happenings in our community. I'm Angela Avery, your host and a Clarkston area family counselor. Today's episode is a little different and I am excited to bring it to you. We are talking to Addison Gale, freshman at Clarkston Junior High School and founder of a nonprofit organization called The Overlooked. Addison is a real life example of what it means to be a kid in Clarkston and she's got a unique perspective we should all hear. Hello Addison. Hi, thank you for having me on the show. You're I'm so welcome. honored to be here. You're welcome. I am very interested in your organization, The Overlooked, okay? Um, can you tell our viewers what it is exactly? Yeah, The Overlooked is a nonprofit organization aiming to provide concert tickets to music fans who are struggling with an external or mental illness. Oh, wow. And um, we get to honor them with the experience of a concert of their dreams. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah. So you're, you're 14. Um, let's remember everybody, <laughs> she's 14. What made you want to start this nonprofit? Well, uh, two people actually inspired me to start this. Uh, well, one day I was like scrolling through Twitter like a typical teenager mm -hmm. and um, I saw one of my idols, Hosley, she's an alternative singer, tweet that someone should start a foundation that raises money for uh, concert tickets for depressed kids who mm -hmm. owe their life to their favorite band. And I was inspired personally and I wanted to change someone's life because that is something that really means a lot to me. Okay. I didn't think I was even old enough to do this, but I just kept it in the back of my head and I was like, maybe in the future I can do it one day. And then my physics teacher, Mr. Paddock, he announced that we were going to have a day once a year, uh, once a week, uh, it's a year-long project called Free Space. Okay. The instructions uh, were to do something that mattered and to do something that meant something to someone and that would change someone's life. Okay. I was motivated to do something like huge. I wanted to change someone's life. So then I was searching for an idea, then I clicked and I was like, I should do the overlooked and oh, then okay. it was born so that's so cool so you have two inspirations then yeah. you saw your your one of your inspirational music musicians and then also your teacher yes okay uh, how did you how do you help others through the organization like how does it work um, well we we help them by rewarding the the nominee with mm -hmm. the tickets and providing them with the opportunity they might have not have the chance to experience okay. and Hopefully, we can make them feel special just for one night. And how many people have you already helped? Three and counting. Oh my gosh, and where did these people go in their concerts? Like what, what did they see? Well, we actually have been published in the Clarkson News, okay. so that gave us a lot of publicity. Okay. And people were emailing us and telling us the stories of their, their children and their friends of and we got a nominee, um, their names are Alex and Drew, mm -hmm. and they went to the musical Peppa Pig okay. on April 1st, and they nice. had an awesome time. That's very cool. So what kind of goals do you have for The Overlooked? Where do you see this going? Um, well, I hope to be able to help as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. Also, I hope that I can spread nationally and maybe even internationally. Oh my gosh, this is a global enterprise here. <laughs> so you run a nonprofit, um, I know personally that you get good grades and you still maintain friendships and you do everything else. So how do you do it all? Well, this organization is my passion and it doesn't feel like work to me. It's not like a homework type thing. It's it just it's something that really matters to me mm -hmm. and I try to pr like prioritize and balance everything. Okay. Sometimes it gets hard, but I always pull through and I can, I can do it. Very, very cool. So the most important question here on the show that we're, we're really going to start to ask a lot of people is, what does it mean to be a kid in Clarkston? Well, I think having a great teacher like Mr. Paddock stretched my thinking and allowed me to develop an organization and put it into action. I am thankful to go to the school district, school district that embraces these types of thinkings and actions. And I think that having this type of environment has really mm -hmm. helped me be a kid in Clarkston. Wow. I am so impressed with Addison, aren't you? I mean, she's an example, uh, an excellent example of what it means to live in this community and make a difference. Um, I want everybody to go to theoverlooked.org. Thank you, Addison, for sharing your time with, and your charity with us today. And please look for upcoming episodes, and thank you for watching Be a Kid in Clarkston.
Thank you.